environmental crime is becoming more prevalent, posing a threat to natural resources as well as peace, development, and security. Many regions of the world were not covered in their genuine essence for decades, resulting in serious consequences for humanity and the environment today. Environmental crimes are defined as illegal acts that have a direct impact on the environment. Illegal wildlife trade, ozone depleting substance or ODS, smuggling, illicit hazardous waste trafficking, illegal, unregulated and unreported fishing, and illegal logging, and the related trade in stolen timber are among them. Since its inception in 1984, the Environmental Investigation Agency has been exposing environmental crime around the world and advocating for increased political support for strong enforcement action. Despite the fact that environmental crime is becoming more prevalent, it is still a low priority for international law enforcement and even in our country. A report illustrates the scope and consequences of environmental crime and urge for strong political will to address it as soon as possible. Environmental crime investigations and financial intelligence are significant responses to prevent natural resources and human beings from environmental criminal activities. Financial investigation uncovered a wildlife and wood smuggling network in Thailand, according to the report, enhancing the detection, investigation, and disruption of illicit financial flows from wildlife crime. Another example of cross-border wildlife crime is an organized criminal syndicate suspected of unlawfully trading wild bird eggs in a large scale in Sweden, the United Kingdom, and Finland. The following are the categories that can be used to classify the above-mentioned environmental crimes, namely climate, forests, ocean, and wildlife. There are several types of environmental crimes, each of which are being committed in order to carry the others out. Illegal lagging, for example, is carried out to clear forests for illegal mining or palm oil production, with following poaching to feed workers. For different types of commodities, such as illegally exploited minerals, wood, drug trafficking, and people trafficking, Criminals use will establish smuggling routes. Tax fraud, human trafficking, forced labor, threat finance, money laundering, and forgery are all utilized to commit environmental crimes on their own. Environmental Crime Investigation Model The following aspects form the foundation of the Environmental Crime Investigation Model. Investigation Method Environmental crime investigations focus on the most serious infractions of environmental regulations that represent a considerable risk to human health in the environment. Interviews, searching a person or document, scrutinizing documents or objects, use of force for self-defense, if necessary, and topic expert area such as environmental crime, are all used in criminal investigations. Illegal logging, dumping of hazardous waste, and their trade, etc. This necessitates the use of specially trained special agents and investigators. Environmental crime investigations necessitate in-depth investigations based on scientific methodology and technical expertise. Sampling and testing of materials such as chemicals or colored liquids in order to acquire evidence against environmental criminals is a crucial and specialized field. This evidence must be collected by scientists and qualified technical experts. Example of this is the morphological characteristics of sow dust. Every wood species sow dust is treated as a representative of gas permeable oxidatively heating compounds in a specific study. The individual oxidatively heating properties of sow dust of 15 wood species are individually measured 
on the one hand by Digidite performed in air and, on the other hand, by the adiabatic oxidatively heating test performed in air in the first half of its chapter. In this regard, the oxidatively heating capability of sawdust from a wood species mentioned a while ago is not always compatible with the wood's combustibility. Legal and Prosecution Aspects The legal and prosecution aspects of environmental crime are in high demand. Sanctions, prison sentences, fines, and damage restoration are all part of the environmental laws and regulations adopted at all levels, which includes criminal, administrative, and environmental liability. The cost of legal and criminal matters is significant and they, ha they are handled by experts in environmental law. Transactional criminal groups profit tremendously from environmental crime. Many laundry's main purpose is to conceal the sources of environmental crime proceeds, save money, and make it available to others. Many laundering cases referred to financial intelligence units are also known as FIUs, result in more thorough investigations and prosecutions of environmental crimes. Compliance professionals at financial institutions must place a high priority of combating environmental crime through financial intelligence or also known as FIs. Detecting and reporting suspicious transactions associated with suspected environmental crime to competent authorities can help to reduce the risk of environmental, natural resources, and human health harm. Financial intelligence or know your customer due to diligence or also known as KYC or CDD should be considered by financial institutions. Controlling environmental crime is in high demand. National legislation to penalize environmental crime, for example, has been enacted as have strengthened investigations and information sharing between law enforcement authorities, FIUs, FIs, civil society organizations, and others. It is rapidly spreading throughout the emerging and poor world. A better understanding of the consequences of environmental crime which cannot be addressed by a single person or entity but must be addressed by all of society will lead to the rapid adaptation and implementation of the environmental criminal investigation model all over the world. <laughs>